Right, so this is your CheckSafe app. I'm just going to show you a demonstration on what you need to do. So firstly, username and password. Right, once you've logged in, so if we go to Start Check. Registration number of your vehicle. Perform Check. You will then get a menu with four options. So the ones that you need to look out for is the top one and the bottom one. The top one is if you're involved in an accident. So if you click onto that, just read what it's saying to you. So at the, bo uh, the bottom of it, obviously do not take responsibility if you have an accident. So do you need assistance? So let's click no, so you won't need assistance. Next. Take photos of the scene and road layout, position of the vehicles. You will not be able to move to the next question without capturing at least one photo. So here, let's take some pictures of the scene. So let's take some imaginary ones. That's okay. Now it asks for take photos of the scene and road layout. So this candle can be the road layout. Okay, right and then you can go to the next. So this is quite in, in, uh, important information that you need to capture. So the name of the third party. So we're going to put my name. Okay, address of the above. So if you can get the address of the third party. Let's just make a road name up. There you go. And also a contact number. Lastly, the registration of the other party. So. Right, then go to the next. So how many people were in the other in the third party vehicle? So let's just say it was just a driver, so it's just one person. Next question they ask you, take photos of the third party vehicle damage. Quite important, let's take capture all the damages on the vehicles. So again, camera's on, you can then take pictures of a vehicle. Take photos of the third party vehicle damage and passengers if any. You will not be able to move to the next screen without capturing at least one vehicle, one photo. So again, it's another photo. Right, so third party policy number and insurance company. So if you can get who they're insured by, just put it in here. So let's put Go Skippy for example. So all the third party details. So describe damage to the third party vehicle. So bumper damage. And of course you would have photos of that in the previous screen. So number of people in your own vehicle. So in your own vehicle, let's put in one, just yourself. Name and address of the vehicle passengers can use voice to text. You can actually use your voice to text it. So if it's just you, again, I'm just going to put my name down. Injuries to people in your own vehicles. Let's just say, example, there's no injuries. We press no. Right, the next question, take photos of people if in vehicle and damage to your own vehicle. So what I suggest is just take pictures of the vehicle. Just don't go up to anyone and start taking pictures of them. Right. 
takes photos of people if in your vehicle again more pictures of your vehicle Right, describe damage to your own vehicle. So we're going to put front bumper damaged. Next. Enter witness details. If there's any witnesses, put their names in. If you want to add further notes of the incident, if required, you can. A brief, especially a little statement. So you can write a statement on what happened. Bottom one, most important, in your opinion, who's at fault. So you've got 50-50, none, own, or third party. Let's put third party's fault here. And then we just submit. Now you've registered the whole incident on your phone. Right, so the next one we're going to show you is the vehicle check. So again, enter your registration, perform check. If you go to the bottom one, Skylight Van Daily Check. So the first thing you've got to do is take a photo of your registration plate. So please take a photo of your registration plates. Again, camera will come on, you just take a picture. Next, so driving license, so you should all have a driving license present with you at all times, so that would be a pass. So enter your mileage of your vehicle. So let's just say this one's done 30,000. Next, fuel level. So this, this van is full of diesel. So with a fire extinguisher and first aid kit, you would take non applicable. And then you start doing your check. So wipers, washers. So have you got enough uh, windscreen wash? So yes, pass. Is your windscreen clear? There's no cracks ob uh, obstructing your view. So pass. Mirrors, are all your mirrors intact? That'll be a pass. Then you go to next. So cab control, so your eco-friendly button, cruise control, so that would be a pass. Height indicator, so if we have a small van, that's not applicable. Does your heating and ventilation work? Your seats, seat belts, do they work? Does your horn work? Have you got any dashboard warning lights? So example, engine management light on, service light on. So if there's none of that, we pass that and go to next. Indicators. So do your indicators and hazard lights work? Yes, pass. Front lights, rear lights, reverse. Do they work? Again, if it is, you pass it. Your steering, is your steering normal? So that would be a pass. Right, security of body wings. So what that means is, have you got any, like a side panel that's hanging off? and dangerous to drive if all the body wings and all the bodies is intact you would pass it so engine smoke excessive so is there loads of smoke coming out of your exhaust if that was you would fail it if the smoke is normal you would pass it so let's press pass go to the next so the important bits so fuel and oil leaks have you got any if not you pass it tires so please look at always look at your tires. So if you do get pulled with a ball tire, that's three points on your license. So we'll pass that. Brakes. Are your brakes okay? Right, so security and tow bars, non-applicable again. Electrical connection the connections will be non-applicable. Let's go to the next. So is your load secure? Security of a load, so you would pass that. Battery secure, if you can access it, so that would be a pass. So markers of registration plate, so make sure your registration plate is always intact. 
Reflectors, so your reflectors are all working and not cracked. So internal clean damage, you press a path, same as the ex external clean damage. All right, we go to next. So once you get to this screen, please, you'll see general photos. So what I want to see on this is for you to take pictures of all four sides of your vehicle. Photos of damages and also photos of all four of your tyres. So I want to see how much grip you got on there. Right, then obviously you just confirm that you've done the check. Yes. Now you're confirming that the vehicle is safe to drive. If you pass yes. You can use the vehicle if you fail it, and do not take the vehicle out. Could you get stopped by Voza and you failed a vehicle check, you shouldn't be driving the vehicle. So all vehicles should be passed. If there's any issues, then come back to me and we'll get your vehicle sorted if you rent one from ourselves. Once you've done that, you've completed your daily check. And that's all. So please look at the guide on how to do a vehicle check and importantly how to do a check from an accident to capture all information okay thank you very much